hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to quickly show everyone on how to import and convert shape files into dwg by lips directly in autocad all right so here is the lsp tool i'll be using shp to dwg so first off you need to extract that by right clicking come to your extract files to extract that note the folder where the lsb tool is going into then you click on ok all right so here it is and here is the exact lsb file i'll be loading in autocad so these are my set of uh, shape files i want to import into the basic autocad so i have a buildings and use places and the rest of them so in my previous video i made use of the autocad 3 d but requests came in that uh, i have to use a uh, basic autocad for my viewers and here is the video so come to your command line under your basic autocad there you type up load and click on enter so you need to navigate to the folder where your lsp file is saved into and here it is for me shp to dwg select it to appear here then you click on load so below here you will see successfully loaded then you click on close then next you come to your command line again then you type irt then you click on enter so that is the auto lips command then here under your coordinate territory depending on the coordinate system that your shape file is your data is you need to define that however i will leave it at word based on my data then your coordinate system is under wg 34 for my case and i'll scroll down to utm zone 31 nodes based on my data then my search engine i'll leave it as the osm open street map and every other thing will be on default here then under your map type click on the drop down then you scroll up under your shp you select import then you scroll down your catch source is advisable leave it at catch plus internet so under your folder if you don't have anything here you click on this folder icon here then you navigate to the folder where you have your shp saved that is your ship files all right i have it under my ship here then click on ok when you are done with all the setup you click on ok so below here you will see the select mode depending on the format you want to use to import your ship file see file you see directory if you click on file you will need to individually import the ship files if you click on directory you can import via the folder but advisable i will go with a uh, file you click on file so you now navigate to the folder where you have your shape files saved so i have it under my shape and here it is so i have buildings land use and the rest so i'll just need to import that of the building first then you select it to appear here then you click on open it will load all the shape files for your buildings if you can't find anything you click on zoom extent so these are my shape files for the buildings so it can be converted to the dwg format then i'll just need to repeat the irt auto lift command so every other information will be saved all right so you just need to click on ok this time click on file navigate to the folder then you select the next you import your next uh shape files so that is for land use it has been imported I'll just repeat the command same thing irt click on file so it's the same process to import all of the other shape files so you see we are still going to do some other editing to differentiate the classes so let me repeat the command to import other ones So I'm going to add the roads. All right. Then lastly, I'm going to add the last shape file class, which is waterways. 
all right please if you have watched the video to this extent do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification on the channel to keep getting first hand tutorial free so i've imported all my shape files of interest so you can see then you can come to your layer properties here so you see i have buildings natural all right so you cannot change the color here by clicking on the color icon so for buildings i will leave it as red so you see i separated that for natural which is vegetation and the rest of those classes leave it as green okay so you can see and uh, places those are points i'll just leave it as white roads leave it as white the waterways click on the icon change that to blue so that is for rivers streams and the rest so guys that's basically how to import and convert shape files to dwg editable drawing by leaps in the autocad software directly if you find this video helpful and informative do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting valuable tutorial freely don't forget to share to encourage and help others thank you see you in the next video